welcome you all yes, students today we are going to talk about phoneme and allophone what are the differences between these two terms and what are these terms basically in the subject of phonetics and english phonology code english 203 we already have conducted 18 lectures in this our lecture series program and this is our lecture number 19. so without further go let's talk about our today's topic and here we are going to talk about phoneme it is the smallest unit of sound in a language which can distinguish two words so in simple words phoneme is actually the smallest unit of sound for instance um, here is number a example for example there are two words sip and zip sip and zip only differ by two sounds two smallest unit of sounds are phonemes sa and za sa for sip or za for zip so these are known as phonemes or here is another example there are two words like ben and bin only differ by a and a so a or a are actually the phonemes and every word is actually the combination of the smallest unit of sounds or phonemes like we always learn a for apple a for apple or a for a b for ba so these are actually the phonemes english is often considered to have 44 phonemes 24 consonants and 20 vowels so each language has various phonemes or uh, different number of phonemes in english there are 44 phonemes 24 consonant phonemes and 20 vowel phonemes vowel sounds in which the air stream from the lungs is not blocked so the mouth is open while we are pronouncing these uh, words are these uh, phonemes as uh, look at here the position of the mouth the mouth position is open while we are uh, uttering the vowel sounds right however consonant sounds in which air stream from the lungs is either completely or partially blocked so look at the position of these phonemes as a ba, pa, ma. While we are uh, pronouncing these phonemes, actually the air stream from the lungs is either completely or partially blocked. Look at here the position of the mouth. What are allophones? Allophone is phonetic variation of phoneme. So phonetic variation of phoneme is known as allophone. For instance, the phoneme ta is having two variations like uh, in a stop as uh, ta and top as ta, ta, ta. So these are actually uh, variations of the sound ta. Here it is explained in, in the text. Think of the consonant ta and the sound it makes in the word top, stop. Now compare it with the pronunciation of ta in the word top. In the latter word, most native speakers use aspirated form of ta. So ta is actually the aspirated form. And what is that aspirated form when the air, when the breath is released? freely or release of breath or when there is a puff of air comes out of the mouth that is known as aspirated sound however a student substituting one allophone for another allophone of the same phoneme doesn't lead to a different word it only creates a different pronunciation of the same word so this difference uh, or the phonetic variation doesn't mean there is difference of the word this is just the difference or the variation of the sound. For instance, here is another example of uh, the phoneme pa. Pa is or can have various variations of 
sounds like in pot so in pot are pot so there is actually the aspirated sound and unaspirated in the word spot and unreleased as in he is not her type so pa pa p so these are actually the variations of the phoneme pa these aspirated unaspirated and unreleased sounds are all heard and identified as the phoneme pa thanks for attention thank you very much hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you